So welcome back to another Scratch tutorial from Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing a video on making a game called Sharks and Minnows. This is how it looks like. So the objective is to, you're the shark, you control it with the mouse pointer, and you try to eat as much fish as you can. And there's a score tracking right here. So in Sharks and Minnows, you'll be learning these following concepts. Understanding broadcast messages using variables, using the random operator block, custom blocks, and we'll need the and we'll also be using the touching color block. So without further ado, let's get started on the video. So I would like to show a demo of how the game looks. So you move with the mouse pointer, try to eat the fish. As you can see, the, you can only eat the fish if it touches the mouth of the shark. And some fishes travel faster than others. So yeah, that's our demo. Let's get on to our project. Let me make a new project right now. Okay. So first, we won't need the scratch cat. We can rename this untitled project to maybe Sharks and Mino. Okay, so next we might need to pick a backdrop. Choose backdrop. I would choose the underwater one. Underwater. Yeah, underwater two. Then we'll need to pick our sprites. We obviously need the fish and sharks. We'll need four sprites for the fish because we can add different types of fish at different, at different speeds. So first, I need to find the shark. Shark two. And we will need the fish. We can duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Okay. Well, all the fish will have the same code. Okay, for the shark, first we need to work on the artwork. First, we will need this C. We only need these two costumes. Okay, so let me zoom in. And I have to fill up all the white teeth with red so the fish can sense the red and the fish will disappear because there might be some white in the background which can, dis can make the fish disappear even though it's not in contact with the shark. I also don't want to use the if touching shark block because what if a shark uh, the shark is touching a fish, and the fish hit its tail. That doesn't necessarily mean the shark ate the fish. So, let me work on the shark's teeth. I'll just pick a red color. So this is my shark, I colored the teeth red. So I also have to do it for this one too. So. Okay, now I'm done with the two costumes with the teeth. Let's move on to the coat. So first we'll need it. If one flag clicked, we need to set this, we need to make a variable called score. So we need to keep track of the score of the shark eating the fish. So we can show the variable, set the score to zero at the beginning, obviously. We can change the size to 150 in the beginning, set the size to 150. So it could be a bit bigger than the fish. We have to set the rotation to left, right, because if you don't, then the shark can turn upside down if you move the mouse pointer up. So you want to set the rotation style to left and right. Sorry. Okay. Next, you want to switch costume to shark 2A, which is the the regular one, and then just the opening mouth one. We want to keep it on the first costume. Shark A. We'll need to drag a forever loop. And it'll point towards mouse pointer, so that means the shark will follow wherever your mouse your mouse is. See, it's turning towards the mouse. We'll need to add a next costume, so it 
Looks so it looks like it's eating by opening and closing its mouth. We'll need to move ten steps because <clears throat> you want the shark to move around rather than rather than just look pointing to the mouse pointer. And you need to wait zero point one seconds so it won't look like this. See look how fast it's opening its mouth. It makes it not look that great. So you want to add the wait 0.1 seconds right here. So now, if you move the shark, it's a bit more smoother. Okay. So now, let's move on to the code for the fish. So we'll need a custom block with the fish. So we'll make a custom block called move fish. We will not need to add any inputs, boolean, uh, number text, or labels for this. So we need the fish to go to a random position. This is defining the move fish function. This is not starting the game. This is not one click. You have to call the function in the beginning after this. I have defined this. So we need a show. So the fish will show in the beginning. Because when the shark eats it, it'll hide. So we can make it switch costume, pick random, one to four, because it has four costumes. Yeah. So it can show up as different fish every time it, it generates a new fish. We'll need to drag a forever loop. <clears throat> this one can move five steps. You can make it move however much steps as you want, but I'll make it five. So if on edge bounce, that means if the fish hits the edge, it'll bounce off of it. And then we need an if then statement. Sorry. If then statement. If then it's touching the color of the red teeth. We want to make the shark bigger a little bit so you can do this. Set it to like maybe 300 size for now. We'll, re we'll reset later. So if you want to capture a color, just press this button and then you can capture the red color because you want the fish to touch the red. So it's touching color that red. So next you want, if it touched the color red, then you change the score by one. We can start the sound chomp. Do we have chomp in here? Nope. So. We need the chomp sound, so it'll make it look like the shark ate it with the chomp sound. So, let's go to the sound. Get a new sound. Chomp. Should be somewhere here. You don't have to search it. Chomp. So like this. So we can place the sound chomp. And then it'll hide because the shark ate it. Then we can wait three seconds, and then regenerate regener another fish after three seconds has passed. We need to broadcast a message called fish start over. Fish start over. So now we need to call the function to start this. So we need a one clicked show in the beginning. We can set the size to 50% so it's not that big. Then we can set the rotation to left and right so it won't flip over like the shark. And then we can call the function new fish. And then when the fish start over, when it receives the message, then you can also call the move fish. Okay, so now all you have to do is duplicate this code to the other fishes. So if you wanted to duplicate it, you drag it down here. If you see it wobble, then you can drop it. It'll duplicate it to the other sprites.
Now let me check if the other fishes have it. Yes, and now we are all set. Now let's try out the game. So I found out my error. So the color wasn't exact to the shark. So that's why the shark wasn't eating it, eating the fish. So you have to put it on here to get the exact color. It wasn't, it was like slightly off and it, and it didn't, and it didn't call as the same color, even though it looked similar. So you have to remember to select the same color. Like this. Okay, so now, after I select this, the game should work. See? So, yeah, that's pretty much sharks and minnows. So, don't forget to save your project. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below in this video to give us some to give us some feedback. Thank you for watching, and see you, and I'll see you guys next time.